Sascha here for NetworkNews.com. We are at the Broadband Taiwan 2009 in Taipei. A show about broadband and WiMAX, obviously. So, and uh, we're just over here at the, it's a kind of corporate booth with lots of companies. And we spotted some uh, quite interesting WiMAX devices over here. Uh, first one I wanted to show you is a, a WiMAX ebook. And as we know, you know, WiMAX devices, or let's say, not only WiMAX devices, but first of all, ebook readers are becoming quite popular after this great success of the Amazon Kindle. So this device over here is just a ebook reader from Taiwan with a WiMAX module in there, which comes in handy, you know, when you want, want to receive your content on these devices. So yeah, that's a little WiMAX ebook reader. And when we get over to the left, uh, we have a little MID from MeTech, the MID MeBody. And there is a WiMAX module in front of it, so this is also WiMAX enabled. So what's what's the what's what's the huge advantage of WiMAX? And we compare this to 3G or 3.5G. First of all, upload speed and definitely latency. Here are some other little devices. Um, actually, um, we just did a hands-on video with this little uh, Medio, or the Media MID. It's the MID MO. And um, this one is, was based on Windows CE, I think. And it's also, again, WiMAX enabled. Finally, Due to our name, NetbookNews.com, of course we need to cover some netbooks. And we have uh, WiMAX netbooks. So MSI, Wind, U120 with a WiMAX module. A device already pretty popular on the market for the last couple of months. And then we have an Acer Spire One. This looks to me like the D250. You know, actually it says 3G, but maybe they also squeezed the WiMAX module in there. And then let's head over here. So we have the ASUS EPC. Uh, that should be the 1002HA. And actually all these EPCs are getting sold over here now with a chiclet keyboard. So when you remember the first version of the EPC 1002HA that came with this ordinary keyboard that we also saw on the EPC S101, right now it's chiclet time. And again, of course, with a WiMAX module. And finally, ECS Elite Group. Um, that's the V10IL that we saw for the first time during Computex in June. A very, very nice netbook. Still kind of waiting uh, until it's getting to the market. It's getting branded by any OEM. And again, a WiMAX module in there. And of course, we have also some WiMAX phones. And actually, something that, that I saw on a couple of booths over here a personal internet communicator, whatever that means. So, we have MIDs, we have smartphones, we have personal internet communicators, we have smart books. It's getting kind of busy on this market. So, yeah, lots of new devices over here at this booth at the Taiwan Broadband 2009.